Um, you probably already know that uh, there's two basic kinds of boat trailers, the roller kind and the bunk kind. The bunk kind, they're hard to get a boat off of sometimes. You gotta carry the, or float the uh, trailer out there to get it off. And of course you have a lot of stuff. A um, couple of numbers here to uh, be aware of. <coughs> These are the sort of things that they might put on a test question. On your, on your trailer, on the, uh, usually somewhere on the front end of your trailer, you'll see a little, bit, a little plate that says gross uh, vehicle weight rating. Uh, I think there's a trailer down there, it probably says 4,000 pounds on it. That just means that your boat, your trailer, everything you have in it, gasoline, water, beer, whatever, um, should be under 4,000 pounds. And they always, they say leave a margin of about 15%. That's a sort of a number you might see on a multiple choice question. Also remember your tongue weight, you also have, you have to have tongue weight of somewhere, some people say five, seven, even 10% of the total weight of your uh, gear on the trailer. That keeps the boat and everything from swaying back and forth and going out of control as you're going down the highway. Um, now, newer trailers, they're getting smarter and smarter, and you don't see those little tiny wheels like you used to see a lot. Um, they're, used, they're putting like car sized tires on trailers these days, which is very smart um, because the little, little wheels, of course, go too fast, heat up, and blow out. Um, also, bearings are a weak point in your trailer. Most boat trailers will have greasable bearings that you can pump a little grease into once in a while. And then they have a little cover to keep the grease from flying around. Um, just remember that that has to be checked regularly. Safety chain. <coughs> Again, and this is a, another little item that shows up on uh, test questions. But if you got an S hook like that, you put it in from the bottom, so it goes around. So when you hit a bump, it has less less likely to bump and fly out. And then you cross the two chains. You cross them underneath the tongue of the trailer. The idea is that if if for some reason it comes loose, the tongue of the trailer, being a little heavy, will fall down onto those chains and be easier to control. And I don't worry, Eric, and I'll make a real quick comment. I don't like ass hooks because I've seen them straighten oh. out under stress when the yeah. boat jumped off the, the ball. What I like is shackles. It takes a little longer, yeah. but, you know, the screw peg right. shackles are, are a lot harder to break than those ass hooks. Little by little, the state laws are changing so that, right, you do need some something better than the traditional ass hooks. Um, winches are fine for, again, um, Couple things to uh, be aware of. Um, you know, this handle, <clears throat> when you're dropping the boat off into the water, you, you knock that ratchet dog out of there, and that handle starts to spin. <laughs> Keep your hands and arms away from it, because it can break your wrist and the hand very quickly. Um, and just about all the trailers I've seen lately have, they'll have either straps or a steel cable on here. Um, which they will not have something like nylon rope, which can snap and make bad things happen, uh, fly around metal and rope flying around and hurt you. So, but even so, when you are cranking on this handle, stand off to the side as far as you can so that if something does break and fly that way, um, <clears throat> it's not gonna hit you in the face at least. Real jacks, they're all wonderful. Um, tie down. Your boats, your trailer boats probably either going to have the gunnel type of tie down that goes across the back end or else it'll have the little straps that come up and hook to like an eye bolt or something on the transom. Um, those are normally made out of some kind of ratchet strap. Very important again, driving down the highway 60 miles an hour, hitting railroad tracks, potholes, that sort of thing. Your boat's likely to fly up in the air because Trailer suspensions usually are pretty lousy. <coughs> Trailer lights, of course, 
just like anything else, your boat trailer has to have lights. Um, and typically these days you'll have the orange side marker. If you can, if you have, can get the newer LED ones, that's all better because they're less, you know, they're more durable. Um, but, right. Big deal. Of course, whatever you're towing with should be capable of towing that much weight. So if you have questions, ask your dealer, your truck dealer, car dealer, whatever, can, uh, can this vehicle tow with uh, 3,000 pounds or whatever it is that you're dealing with. And then you probably know that there are different hitches for different weight ranges. Um, for a car, typical pickup truck, you have at least a class three hitch, which is usually good to 5,000 pounds towing. Um, you can have the little class two ones that have the like an inch and a quarter or inch and a half uh, square uh, receiver box here. Um, but those are usually only good to maybe 1,500 pounds, something like this. You know, it's just that picture here, the pin is missing, so. Um, pin's also a very important part of your trailer hitch. Checklist, you know, it's this is a pretty comprehensive checklist, but um, you might on the tongue of the trailer or somewhere around there, you might want to put a few notes to say, um, don't forget to put the plug in, um, watch out, make sure the motor is in the up, upward position. You might just want to, like I say, uh, write that somewhere on the tongue of the trailer, because it is when you're at boat ramps, if you spend a few hours at boat ramps, there's all kinds of entertaining things that happen there. <laughs> and I fortunately won't find any YouTubes with me on them, um, but you will find a lot of other funny people on YouTube that are doing stupid things at, uh, at boat ramps. I've been lucky so far about, at least about the YouTube part. Um, what else should we say here? Anything else? Um, to say, big thing is if your weight is not on the tongue of the trailer, it will sway and it can go out of control. If you're driving down the highway with your boat and a big semi goes by you 80 miles an hour, it can suck that boat right over, right next to the truck and it's very distressing. But just kind of hold on tight and it'll, it'll all be okay. Um, Launching, important to remember, don't get down, don't put your boat down here and then start uh, getting it ready. Do it out of the way so other, you know, be courteous to other people. Right? So, they'll remind you if you forget. <laughs> um, well, tie down straps, yeah. Raising the engine is important. Sometimes you, if you have the, the uh, and down when you back up something a shallow spot, you'll, you'll damage the lower unit on it. Be careful there. The lights, of course, I think LED lights, you don't have to disconnect, they will take water, but of course your regular incandescent bulbs that you're definitely uh, will pop if you drive them down, step on the brakes if they're not disconnected. Keeping your tires out of the water, good luck with that. Um, <coughs> so, I think that's all pretty obvious. Retrieving, just do everything backwards. Uh, make a note, and this might be a question for you somewhere, is, you know, the uh, get rid of all the milfoil and the invasive species, stuff hanging on the trailer. Sometimes you come out of some of these uh, boat ramps and your boat is just, let's say, covered with them. Um, I know I was up north on a little lake in northern Wisconsin, I lake near Florence, and they have zebra mussels in it. Um, so some clown probably just brought zebra mussels from uh, Green Bay here and didn't get rid of them all before he put his boat in that lake.
it's a good idea to travel with a mask on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, check just checking your trailer. Make sure all the parts are there, nothing is loose. Again, your tie downs. Things are not playing. Amazing, of course, grease in the bearings. It's true of any kind of trailer and you do. That prevention, yeah, you probably want to prevent that. Um, a quick, a couple minutes here. Let's just look at the review questions because on the test you probably see two or three questions related to trailering. And if you look at page 173 in your book, if you've got it there, we just, we've got about five or six questions. Again, this is the sort of thing you're going to see. The capacity of the trailer weight should not com exceed the combined gross weight of the motor gear. That was on one of the early slides. And they say 15%. You should always leave a little extra 15% for things that bad things that could happen, so. I think you meant 182, 183, right? Uh, my book it's 173, but I might have a different edition. Oh. Yeah, you're yeah, talking about the chapter four review? Yeah. yeah. It's 182. Oh, 182? You, have oh, to, oh, you oh, might have different oh, questions. Oh, <laughs> what, different questions? <laughs> no, um, no, number, number 12. 12, yeah. okay, that's 12. Yeah. The answer is a 15%, okay. Yeah. And then they're talking that 13 is about the uh, uh, tires and window check tire pressure. That's the same one? Yep. Yeah, you check it when it's cold. That's just something that not everybody knows, but. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's when the tires are cold? Yeah. 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 Yes. Next question safety chain should must be crossed underneath. That's what he said, crossed underneath the tongue of the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, 15 trailer winches for boats over 14 should use what? You don't have it? Yeah. What trailer winch would you use best for larger boats? Yeah. Where? Oh, 15. I can't read. 15, sorry. sorry. What's the answer? The answer is steel cable or nylon strap. Um, and again, 16 here is. Uh, trailer winch cables can snap. Is that the question you have? Yeah. Um, what precautions should the winch operator take to prevent injury in the event of winch line break? Okay, yeah, they rephrase it a little bit. Again, yeah, whenever you're you're close to tight lines on a boat, towing or whatever, try to stay out of line of that, uh, out of the way of the line. And you're saying your trailer should have a plate on it telling you what the maximum weight that the trailer and everything is. Speaking of that, if you have a question about how much weight is on your trailer, how much the whole mess is, um, where's a good place to go to find out? Uh, tell you locally, the um, up on Highway 180, just north of the Big Chicken gas station, there's a metal recycling place. Um, and they have a big scale, you know, truck scale for weighing trailers and such. Go in there, give them five dollars, they'll weigh everything you've got there and tell you what it is. George Webb's got one for the big 18 wheelers, so I don't know what they charge you. Okay. Probably wouldn't be any more than five dollars in there either. Okay. So the other question I have here is you can adjust tongue weight on the boat by changing what? If the tongue is too heavy or too light on the boat. The answer is you can adjust the tongue weight by right, moving weight to stuff inside the boat, either forward or back, you know, to get more weight in one direction or the other. Does that make sense? Yes. Uh, it should. One more. Any other questions there? Yeah. What is the useful tip for hand? Oh, yes, backing up your trailer. And it's for people that have not. If you have not backed up many trailers, they have a nice tip about if you're sitting in your car with your hand in the bottom of the steering wheel, you want the trailer to go that way, you move your hand that way, and the wheel will go that way in the trailer will. Or just the opposite, if you want, to go, you want the trailer to go that way, you move your hand that way. 
doesn't mean you don't have to look over your shoulder. But your hand's got to be in the bottom of the window. On the bottom. Right. Six o'clock. Yeah. On the bottom. Yeah. Six o'clock. No, it probably would work just the opposite if your hand was on the top. It's it does. Much, it's not as much fun visually when somebody knows how to do it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and it, if you're right, if you got a, if you just got a new boat, new trailer, and they all handle a little bit differently, they all turn differently. Just again, practice, just practice. And that's exactly two of everything. Yeah. Uh, what Pat said about these review questions is good for all. The, yes, definitely. Yes. Good That's a good way to review for the final exam is yeah. to review these questions. The answers are in the back of the book. Yeah, can you so, the answers uh, are way in back here somewhere. How long is it? 50 questions. Yeah. 50? And if there's anything that you have a question on and you're too shy to ask, please catch us at a break. Let us know. Uh, <laughs> We'd like to make sure that you understand the material in these books. It's important to us that everybody pass. It's not safety. Exactly. Anything else? No. I guess you are free to go. Come back.